Hello, welcome to uh, the first episode, the first YouTube of Painting with Will. My name is William Patrick Saladino. I'm an Impressionist painter, an American painter, I have a Master of Fine Arts, and my goal for this YouTube is to uh, inspire any other artists out there who would like to uh, use their own creative ability to create a, uh, a painting using an impressionistic style. And I'll show you my technique. I'm starting, this is a finished painting of, of uh, the Sydney Opera House in uh, Sydney, Australia. I just finished a uh, series on Australia and now I'm beginning my series on New Zealand, a place I visited uh, 40 years ago to the date. Uh, and this is a sketch I'm working from. This is uh, this is called Milford Sound Waterfall, March 5th, 1977. The, um, the black and white, or actually tan and white, or tan and black, because of the paper and copy machine, I, I printed uh, black and white because I like to start with uh, just looking at the, uh, the values, dark to light, and I'll use acrylic paint. You can paint oil over acrylic, but you can't put acryl acrylic over oil. So I'm putting down an acrylic um, painting of, of shadows. I'm using uh, some nice clean distilled water since New Zealand was, was a very clean place where you could actually drink the water from the stream. I'm using uh, Liquitex Heavy Body Mars Black Acrylic and I'm going to start putting in some uh, shapes, some shadows and I'm just looking at it in terms of you know light and dark masses at this point. So I've already sketched it out with a pencil and now I'm putting in some uh, what I see in my sketch right here. The color one, the original ones here, this is a black and white one. So I'm putting in just roughly some areas of light and dark. Some areas are darker than others. You know, this is this is just the undercoat. And start at the top of the mountain. Water runs down over here. Roughing in some areas, kind of almost sketching in with black paint, trying to capture the same feeling when I was there with, with my little box of watercolor paints and my sketch pad. If I see a light area, I'll try to leave that light. Um, some areas are darker than others. So I'm working on the left side of the waterfall first. Keep in mind the dark area is are the rocks, and the light area in between would be the water. So now water kind of jogs over up from the top of the mountain and it, and it comes down. This is the edge of a mountain up here. I'll just sketch mountains in from what I have. And there's a shadow this side of the mountain. And I try to make the, the direction of the brush uh, create that, that same feeling that um, I, I try to capture in the sketch. You know, it's, it's, it's the uh, jagged mountains in New Zealand, beautiful mountains, absolutely beautiful. And we have just as beautiful mountains here in, in America. But at um, the time I was in New Zealand, and, you know, I was able to, like I said, I was, I was hiking around and I was 40 years younger. I had an American flag on my backpack. 
got a lot of different varieties from some friendly New Zealanders. And um, I see their country hiking around. Up in the mountains, I could, I could take a, my little tin cup and dip it down into the water and drink right out of the stream. That's how clean it was. Okay, now there's some darker areas up in here. This will look pretty abstract to begin with. You know, I'm just like I said, I'm just roughing in some masses, and that's how I'm approaching it. Just roughing in some different shadows, and later it'll come together. Hopefully, let me start adding color. Way, came down, came down first, took a jog here, came down, and came down here, then it moved over here, and it rushes down there. interested in like a lot of details or anything at this point. I'm just like I said, I'm trying to just capture the the um, feeling of how the light hits the mountain on on coming in from the left side here and this is South Island, New Zealand by the way. It's two islands, North Island and South Island. Milford Sound. I think the South Island mountains are bigger. I'm not sure what's going on here. If that was, I know the water came down here like that, but this light area here could have been snow even. Is there where I do remember snow being up there? When you get to like 8,000 feet. And I did this whole thing just with my Adidas and my backpack and had a, had a tent in my backpack. I spent nine months traveling around the world and it was a great experience. And I filled up a lot of sketchbooks. And this sketchbook is number... Okay, number seven, New Zealand, 1977. I spent a couple months in Australia first, and then before that I was in Southeast Asia, in Indonesia and Thailand and Malaysia. And before that I was to stop over in Russia. I was in uh, Europe for about a month or so. And I stayed in youth hostels, you know. I was, I was traveling uh, pretty light, pretty economical. However I could get there. Boat, plane, train, hitchhike. It's a little safer to hitchhike back then, I think, than it would be now, I'm not sure. I mean, I know, in this country, it's not the same, but in New Zealand, yeah. If I did it again, I'd probably rent a car. Okay. Now, once in a while, you got to stop and just, you have to stop what you're doing. And step back. Oh, that thing just popped off there. That's a sign. I need to step back. Okay. Step back and look at it. All right. Yeah, when you step back, you can see it in a different, a different perspective. I'm going to sign off and then come back later and add color.
Welcome back to Painting with Will. I'm going to add some color to the waterfall landscape. My color is, if you have the primary color, is red, yellow, and blue. That's all you need to start with, like cadmium red, cad yellow, ultramarine blue, some titanium white, Mars black. Um, I have some oxide green, some umber and sienna in here as well. And my medium is a little turpentine, a linseed oil, and some a little bit of Demar varnish. And I'll just don't I don't mix them together. I just go with my gut instinct as I'm painting. Um, I start with the light wash. I'll usually start with the sky in the background. So here we go. Oil paint. scumbling technique. It's falling the edge of the mountains. space between the mountains. It's pretty important here to get that sky in there. I'm keeping, I'm keeping it kind of thin. sky above the mountains. And I bring some of that blue down here now. Water comes down. Try to find the direction of the water. Drops down here, comes down there. The line of the water. strokes try to get the feel of the water. Just imagine the water going down the side of the mountain. This is an impressionist painting, it's not necessarily like a realistic photograph.
Yeah, it's put a under tone of some bluish colors into the mountains. in the grains out. Put a little chrome oxide green in there as well. The ultramarine blue and the cadmium yellow. times. Earth tones do not turn out to get muddy tones. sketch here there's like a there's a warm area down here so I'm going with some cat red and orange right here at the base base of the mountain and there's actually some that are coming down right here some right here and some warm 
color it over here. I take a lot of artistic liberties with the original drawing because I was there in the for four years, forty years ago. So you know, I'm going on my gut instinct. at the waterfall. show up in a lot of my paintings. Kind of like freedom of freedom of travel. And burn. So since that bird was right in this area, that's the nice thing about oil painting. You, you know you can take some of it off if you don't like it. I'm choosing, I have a variety of brushes over here that I choose from. I'm just going to put that where I think that bird was, right? That bird was flying like right, right through here. See what I got going on here. Some grays. Gray. these rocks in here inside of the mountain. And of course, you can't forget the water. It's name of the picture of the waterfall.
contrast next to the waterfall to make that fall really jump, come out at you. going to stop right now. Step back again. Welcome back. Painting with Will. I'm going to put the finishing touches on the uh, waterfall and it's done pretty much. So the day of the solar eclipse, February 26th. When you, when you do the water, you have to think, what, what does water, how does it flow? Curving lines show movement. Okay, well, put the paint on a little bit thicker up here. with some texture, some titanium white. And each time the falls would hit a rocky surface, and it would flow and then it would drop. mountains. Evening light added just a little tad bit of orange and um, into the shadows. Like the orange of the setting sun. Pretty much does it. This is finished. An impressionist landscape, waterfall, New Zealand. 40 years old. The original sketch up here and the painting done 40 years later. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.